So another remarkably unusual feature of this house is this almost floor to ceiling cast iron stove. This huge element, it's on its own, it's, it's an architectural feature of the house. Uh, can you have a sense, give us a sense of how that stove might have been used? Was it used for things beyond cooking? How long do you think it was used until? Yeah. So what's interesting about that space is that the kitchen is fully intact, including its soapstone sink and its cabinets. Yes. And so that stove was built here in Boston by uh, the Carpenter Stove Company and was fitted directly into the chimney. And again, when we're thinking about old New England homes, one of the things that comes up is how do you heat them? And part of the systems back there would have been a gravity heat system. Yes. And so that stove would have been tended to all day by whoever was cooking here, and I suspect it was not the owner. And they would just continue to put either coal or wood into that space. And you would do your breakfast, lunch, and dinner from it. Yeah. So part of it was keeping um, the house warm, and they would have just opened up a vent, and the heat would have rised throughout the house along with its original furnace system but also the idea that in the doing of that, you got the ability to cook a meal. Yeah. And so when you think back then, uh, you know, Boston is uh, home of the bean and the cod. And so things like beans would have taken hours. Yes. And so you can just always imagine on that particular piece, somebody lovingly putting together the pot of beans and setting it on that stove and just the smell that would have emanated throughout the space. Yeah, neat.